Um, we, um, my team built a music sequencer using FM synthesis, coupler strong, as well as wave table. And um, we are able to generate some percussion instrument sounds as well as string sounds. So now I'll be showing the um, percussion instruments. So some of the examples include... Turn up the... That's all FM synthesis, right? Yes, okay. that's all. And then we can record a sequence. So we go into the record mode, and let's just pick some instruments. And then we exit out of the record mode, and then we can do the playback, which will generate the sounds on random. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, sh show me the carpal strong stuff now. It will play for a while, but I can set it as okay. So uh, for the carpal strong, we were able to synthesize a whole octave um, by doing um, like yeah. So carpal strong synthesis. So um, starting from one to seven, you will play uh, C four to B four in sequence. So. So we were also able to record this, and when the user exit out of the record mode and click on C, um, we will randomly generate a longer sequence to playback. Yeah. So cool. All right. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And and you had a wavetable also. Is it? Oh yeah, the wavetable is actually embedded in one of the um, the FM synthesis. Okay. Yeah. So we we were okay. So we were trying to do a snare drum with like FM synthesis, but it actually didn't give us like the best result. So I found a snare like online, then um, translate the wavetable into a header file and put it as a wavetable inside our files. Uh huh. So yeah. So actually, when you do. Um, I press A and 1, the snare song is actually from a wave table that we packed into um, an 8-bit number that we played out. Mm -hmm. right. Very nice. So, you, so overall you have a, a, a single voice sequencer synthesizer and, and you can play with it all day long. Yeah, yeah basically. pretty much. Pretty much, okay, thank you.